Today we're going to talk about how certain athletes can create and unleash tremendous strength and power during lifts through a process called densifying neural drive. We're then going to learn how a failure to maintain neural drive can lead to technique faults and an inability to complete any more reps when lifting. Let's start by learning what neural drive is from renowned back expert Dr. Stuart McGill. The great strength athletes know how to create more strength by what we call densifying neural drive. What is strength? Strength starts quite simply as a thought. The brain organizes a pattern of impulses that travel through the nerves and through the body to create movement and strength. But there are several tricks to densifying that neural drive to pull out even more strength. For example, you've all heard about the mother who sees her child trapped under a car and she's able to, and this is well documented, pick up the back end of the car and uh, someone is able to pull her child out. Uh, she might uh, avulse her biceps, she might uh, fracture her spine, but somehow at that instant in time, she's able to densify neural drive for that super strength. Well, we've measured this in, in many great athletes, so here is the first element of creating uh, a very dense neural drive. First of all, the brain must perceive joint stability. Just imagine if you had a ligament strain in your knee, uh, your brain would sense that instability, it might be accompanied with a shot of pain, and it will cause you then to limp, uh, creating a non-optimal, a non-athletic pattern. Well, your back limps as well. Consider if someone has a bit of joint laxity, and many great athletes do. They might have a, a disc bulge or a little bit of an end plate fracture where the disc has lost a little bit of height. That's what is captured in this model. Uh, these very biofidelic models are made by dynamic disc designs, for example. Uh, this disc is normal, and this disc is normal. This one has lost a little bit of height. Notice when I apply a torque from above that the majority of the motion is taking place at the joint that has lost stiffness. When the brain perceives that instability, uh, it shuts down neural drive. So let's uh, look at the World's Strongest Man competition from a couple of years ago. You'll notice that in the uh, squatting of 750 uh, pounds event, uh, look at the repetition prior to the one that they failed on. And every single time you will see that instability. The hips slide out a little bit, there's a little bit of wavering, a little bit of micro movement, so that now the brain uh, is unable to send out uh, full neural drive and they lose the lift. For example, during Brian's first few reps, you can see they're smooth and powerful, very under control. Here's his very last rep where he failed to complete another. If we were to rewind this and see the rep right before this last one, you can see this was when his technique started to break down. He hit unevenly at the bottom and his hips shifted on the ascent, a sign his neural drive was diminishing and the very next rep would be an even greater struggle. The key to combat this, of course, is to develop very robust stabilizing patterns through specific stabilization exercises. An example is the McGill Big 3 combination of the modified curl up, the side plank, and bird dog all held for 10 seconds, which aim to create sufficient stability around the spine, much like guy wires that attach to a radio tower. Another key component of densifying neural drive is facial expression, or what you may know as the game face. You don't see many strength athletes with a lot of joy expressed on their face. That uh, robs the density. Uh, instead, they create a game face. Uh, to brink on that fight or flight response to densify neural drive. The stories and conversations that I've had with world-class athletes, I think of one a world record holding Olympic lifter who uh, was competing in the clean and jerk. They just performed the clean and they knew they had the next world record in the bag. And he said, I let myself have a little uh, thought of satisfaction, a little internal smile 
I lost my game face, and of course, I lost the lift and the next world record. A cue that you can use to help maintain neural drive is actually quite simple. Just think, stay tight. You will often hear great coaches saying, stay tight, don't get loose. Staying tight also creates the principle that the Russians coached so well, the principle of irradiation, radiating dense neural drive throughout the body through creating uh, proximal uh, stiffness to unleash the athletic movements distally. They say that energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos, these people have